welcome to Centric Software. This is a brief video overview of the dedicated call center CRM built into Centric Software for those call centers out there. Let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, what type of call center you have, if you're selling a certain type of product, maybe you're a call center that represents multiple products, maybe you're a call center that represents one product. At the end of the day, it doesn't actually matter. What we have built into our software is something called file type technology. So as a file comes into the software, you can tag it with a file type and it'll actually display dedicated technology for certain vertical markets. Now, we only have dedicated technology for certain vertical markets like finance and student loan consolidation, debt settlement, uh, consumer and business finance, that is. But if you're a call center and you just want to uh, have a, a way to differentiate uh, your leads coming into the software and have a different workflow for each one of those types of leads, you have the ability to do that. Okay, so we can jump over to workflow and you can see here I have several different what we call file types types built into the software. So we can always add more to differentiate your files, but essentially, if you're a uh, call center for the uh, business loan industry, we can come in here and click on business loans and you can have a dedicated workflow for stages and statuses based on business loans. We can come in here and we can do credit repair or investors or software or mortgage or lead buyer. Okay, so you can come in here and we can create several different types of workflows for each one of those. So again, if you're a type of call center where you are managing uh, several different vertical markets, maybe you're doing solar, maybe you're doing medical, maybe you're doing finance, maybe you're doing warranties, again, it doesn't matter. We can differentiate those in the software and have workflows for each one of those, okay? So that's our file type technology. In the software platform, what we also have is the ability for you guys to create custom fields. A part of setup, we're gonna create all these custom fields for you, but you guys can come in here at any time, create a custom field, and then give that custom field an answer option. So for example, maybe I wanna uh, type in how many years in business, and I want that to be multiple choice. I can add as many options as I want. So I can do you know one year, two years, you guys can even do ranges and so on and so forth. Okay, so you guys can choose the different answer options you have built on the software. State, text, paragraph, number, multiple choice, multiple select, date, time, contact, relationship. So you can build any custom fields you want in the software and then you can add that custom field to your intake form. So if I come to the contacts tab and let's say your call center adds uh, data manually into the software, I can click on add a contact and you can see here all the data points on file for this particular intake form will be right here. So I've got categories of data and then I've actually got the data points here on the right. So if I jump back into the contacts tab, I go back into custom fields, I can click on form builder. And again, if you're the type of call center that has multiple different vertical markets it calls on, you can come in here and create multiple intake forms for that call center. Okay, so the nice part about our software is again, if you're a call center doing multiple industries, multiple products, you can build out those different intake forms, those different workflows, and run all those different industries under one uh, one roof, okay? So that's custom fields and that's intake forms as far as getting data into the software manually. Okay, what we also have built into the software is something called data sources. Data sources is gonna be heavily used for you call centers. You guys can come in here and create a data source. You can name it whatever you want. We have two different types of data sources. We have web form, and if you click on web form and you click on save data source, we'll look at one here that's already existing. It spits out what we call a post URL. So you can put this post URL up on your website. If you're driving traffic to a website, you can give this post URL to any uh, data provider or lead company to post into your CRM and it'll automatically post in. What we also have is something called import. If I click on import, you guys can always import a CSV file at any time. Okay, you can choose the file type it's for. What stage and status do you want it coming in as? You can choose the campaign. We'll talk about campaigns here in a second. You've got dedupe functionality. You've got autoresponder functionality for this particular data source. You've got automatic assignments to reps, round robin or public. You have the ability to uh, push data uh, through a webhook into someone else's software like a dialer. And you've got lead notifications. Okay, so a data source is essentially putting a, uni a unique identifier on all the different places your leads are coming from. Okay, so again, if you're importing data or it's a web form, you guys have the ability to do both. Okay, so this is data source technology. When you guys build out your list, you can filter on data source any which way you want. You know, what we also have is campaigns. If I jump into campaigns, you guys can come in here and create campaign titles. You can activate those campaigns. What's the start date and end date for a campaign? What's the source? Let's say, for example, Google, or I can add new, uh, a new source. 
What's the media type? Is it direct mail, internet, uh, radio, television? What's the priority? How much are you spending on this campaign? And what's the purchase amount? Okay, so when I save a campaign, those campaigns will be here on the right. I can always edit this campaign anytime I want. And when I come to the contacts tab and I click on data sources, I can associate a campaign with a certain data source so I can run analytics on whether or not I'm showing a positive or negative ROI on that campaign from that data source. Okay, so that's uh, data sources and campaigns. We also have webhooks. For those of you who must work with a dialer, we have several different types of phone systems integrations built into Centric Software. You can go to our partners page on our website and look at all the phone system integrations. We can come in here and build webhooks and then we can build webhook triggers. So for example, if we change the status of a lead to a certain lead, we can automatically webhook that data point into a phone system, into a dialer, into some other back-end software platform for underwriting or whatever. Okay, so you guys can come in here and build out all the different types of webhooks. We've got method post and method get, so we can post data out of the software or someone can come in and get data from our software. Okay, and again, if I come to the contacts tab and I click on data sources, you guys have the ability to initiate a webhook the second a lead hits the software platform. Okay, so in the contacts tab, that was workflow, campaigns, data sources, and webhooks, custom fields, and intake forms, all things very necessary to run a call center. Okay, now what you guys also have is something called dynamic data management via list building. Okay, so you guys are going to be able to come in here and build out different lists and then toggle between those lists throughout the day. Managers can have access to build lists. Um, uh, everyday sales reps may not have access to build lists. That's totally up to you. But one nice part about our list building functionality is if I click on new list, you guys can come in here, create a list, title that list, and then you can share this list with certain teams or individuals. And then you can tell the system what data do you want that team or individual to see. Do you want them to see all contacts, any contacts, my contacts, shared contacts? So you guys can actually create one list. Let's say, for example, all hot leads. You can share that list with the entire sales team. And if you drop down my contacts only, every single sales rep is going to have access to the same exact list. But they're only going to be able to see data on that list assigned to themselves. That's why we have my contacts or any contacts shared with them or all contacts, for example. So we make uh, data management, list management much, much easier for you and your team. So you're not creating 10, 11, 12 lists per rep. You're creating one list for that particular uh, uh, filter or that particular status, sharing it with everyone. But again, reps uh, can only see data on that list assigned to them. Okay, so great way to build out lists. We've also got tons of different filters you guys can put on lists. I mean, look at all these filters we have. Created by, date of birth, stage, status, time in status, created date. You guys can come in here and build different lists and filter on anything you really want. All of your custom fields that are built in the software custom. And then, of course, all your standard fields that come out of the box with the software as well. So most of our clients want to see status filters. I want to see all my leads in the status of. Okay, so I can drop this down to status. I can choose, I want to see all my warm leads, add filter. And then I want to add another filter for time in status. And I want it to be equal to three days in the past. Click on add filter. So you guys can come in here and add as many filters as you want to a list. So that when you look at that list, if there's filters on that list, it's going to run those filters and display data to you. So we call this dynamic data management. If you've built out your list building strategy uh, well enough, you can toggle between different lists. And every hour of every day, data is falling off of one list and on to a different list, depending on how you build out that strategy. Okay, and then over here on the far right, you can drag and drop the data columns you want to see from a list view perspective. Okay, so I can choose any which data column I want. I can drag it and drop it in. So now if I come up here and click on save list, I'll have all the data columns I want on this particular list. So created, business name, assigned to, full name, home phone, so on and so forth. Okay, so again, data management, list building strategy, very, very important in our system. Uh, list building gets very important when you get over to email marketing. If your call center wants to be automated uh, drip email marketing campaigns going out after calls or dispositions, you're going to want to build those lists and then create those email marketing campaigns. Okay, so a lot of great stuff there. When it comes to the list, there's a lot of cool things you can do on the list view without ever having to drill into the client's account. So if you see here, I can click on this little down arrow and I can get a lot of the data points I need for this particular lead. So phone number, schedule an event, view full details, edit contact, any creditors, income and expense, enrollment. I can drop this back up and I can essentially do the same thing over here on the far right. So I can update the stage and status of a client on the fly 
I can edit the contact information for a client on the fly. I can take a note for a client on the fly, schedule a calendar event, or upload a document for this client on the fly as well. I can shoot a quick email to this client on the fly if I wish to do so. If they have an email address on file, you guys can load really great looking templates if you wish to do so um, in the system. And then of course you can attach any document you need to to this email so you can send this email off to your clients. Okay, and then of course you've got phone call tracking. Now, if you're not using an integrated phone system and you click on the phone number, you're manually gonna track this call, you're manually gonna schedule a follow-up call, you can click on save call or save call an email. If you've got an integrated phone system, dialers may be doing all the work or you've got click to dial features. So you click on a phone number, it automatically starts dialing and that reps here. Okay, so again, a lot of different phone system integrations, a lot of ways to do very quick things without having to drill into the client's account. Now, let's say you do want to drill into the client's account because they've called you back and you want to work that file as a call center rep. I can click into Al's laundry service here. Here's all the information on file. And as a sales rep or as a call center rep, I can click on scripts up here and I can load a sales script. The nice part about the sales script is you can actually put data points in the sales script and buttons. So for example, if you're a call center that sends out direct mail, we have a full direct mail database built into the software. And if a part of this script says, go find that postcard number, I can click on go to mail search. I can type in that postcard number, click on search. There'll be a button here that says click to live lead. And that will now dump me right back into this client's account. Okay, if it's a direct mail record, okay, I can load scripts again. I can come in here and I can follow the script. I can put in different information for this client. This may be empty and I can go to the next page and it'll automatically save that client's information right into the CRM. Okay, so no reason to go back or click a save button. The second you go to the next page, you click exit out. All that data's information has now been saved in the software. Okay, so you can build out different sales scripts in the admin tab um, as much as you need to. Okay, so in the client dashboard, obviously you've got all the history of a client, all the calls for this particular client, all totally tracked, the recording of the call, uh, the duration of the call, the, uh, the disposition of the call, depending on what phone system you're using, any emails that go out to the client with an open rate for that email, you guys have notes, drip email marketing campaigns, any documents, events, and tasks or credit card data or bank account data if you're gonna be charging clients as a call center as well, okay? So that's just a brief overview of all the call center dedicated technology. We obviously have much, much more technology built into the software. If you're a call center that wants to know um, how email marketing is functioning, if you're a call center that wants to truly understand any sort of analytics and reports and how your call center is behaving as far as productivity, lots of great reports built into the software. And then of course, if you guys are charging clients through the software and taking payments, we have the ability to take payments and roll clients into monthly billing programs along with uh, do all your accounting in the software with a uh, full integration to QuickBooks Online. Okay, so thank you so much for watching us today. If you have any questions, please contact your sales rep or request a demo and we hope you have a fabulous day.